Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of everybody at Newell, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to today's event, uh, which is the launch of our first product, MuleNet. So with that, I think I'd like to hand over to James, who will give us a history of Newell. So we're a startup company, a private company, started in uh, September, last September. Um, Glenn and I and William got together and uh, rapidly joined by other people, some of whom I've worked with for a very long time, since even the mid-80s some new, new people. So this is uh, just like 2G or 3G or 4G, this is a proper global standard for wireless data, wireless cellular data. It's been designed specifically for machines and so-called M2M, machine to machine. But we are operating this global wireless network on newly available white space spectrum. If you remember the auction of 2,000 odds, there was 22.5 billion pounds raised for selling 120 megahertz of spectrum. Well, in TV white space, there's about the same amount of spectrum available. And it's actually better spectrum in many ways. It's UHF, therefore it goes further, it goes about three times further than the 3G spectrum. I mean, what you're seeing at the moment is a new industry. It's a new industry which may have a dollar TAM as big as the whole cellular industry, which has been the mainstay of high tech for the last decade and more. What does Newell actually do? Well, we're going to deliver. So, sounds um, perhaps conceited. I, I hope not. Um, it's certainly ambitious. A global wireless network, specifically for machines. Um, one other thing that I draw to your attention about TV white space is huge reduction in infrastructure cost. It's possible to roll out in, in a country about the size of ours 100% uh, coverage for order $50 million. It'd be 800 if you were to do LT. Better use of resources, be they natural resources, water, artificial resources, roads, electricity is kind of a crossover is every bit as essential in developing economies as it is here in the West. So the only way in which you can have an improving standard of living, not have famines to come, not have wars over resources or wars over water, riparian disputes, is to use this stuff more efficiently. So our system is in no way competitive with, or in competition to, I should say, um, 3G or 4G. So the company, as we've already said, is, is Newell. Um, but the technology that, that we have invented has its own name, Weightless, because we want it to become a global standard in its own right. A little bit, if you like, analogous to Bluetooth. So here are some of the key design parameters that we took as we started to look at this technology. First of all, to aim for very low cost. And our model here is chipsets in large volumes of about the same cost point as Wi-Fi. And ideally, 10 years or so off one battery is very important. So designing a system that allows devices to, to go to sleep, to wake up for very short periods of time and use very small amounts of current is critical. So you need a system that can take rather small amounts of data and just send that with the tiniest amount of overhead. Now white space is actually the space in and around TV transmissions. So what we've done is built a database that can actually work through the whole of the UK on 100 meter by 100 meter resolution and for every single pixel in the UK. It asks the question, could I use this particular pixel on this particular channel without causing interference to the licensed use? In terms of coverage, the, the system can deliver um, coverage up to as much as 10 kilometers from a base station. As you can see with that set of base stations, we cover well over 99% of um, that area. If we assume covering the UK, we think like 6,000 cells. Uh, that allows us to have a cell range of about four kilometres. That's quite a nice balance between um, range and data rate. And to put it into perspective, to serve smart meters with the current specification, to serve every single house in the UK with a smart meter would consume less than 1% of our network capacity with a single channel. So we don't believe that we have any significant capacity problems here. Hopefully you've understood why the machine-to-machine -machine applications are very different from the type of communications that we have today. Cellular networks are designed for people, and people are quite different from machines. You've heard about the, um, the uh, kind of market vision and company from James, the technology from William. 
and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the actual product that we're selling. And um, it's called Nulnet, um, and it's uh, the first full production custom designed white space radio that's available anywhere in the world. And what we're trying to do with it is to take white space radio out of the lab, which is where it's been for the last couple of years, and into the high street. So people and machines are actually using white space and it, and it reaches its full potential. And this is the actual product. So we have it, a couple of examples over here. This is our first null net product available to buy right now. The box provides our customers with a way of accessing spectrum worth billions of dollars free of charge. So there are two parts to it. We have a base station, which forms the central hub of the network, and then terminal devices. And the null net system consists of one of each. Um, our aim is by 2015 to get the cost of adding the technology to a meter or similar machine to machine device down to one dollar with a 15 year battery life for low, for low bandwidth applications. So second application um, is local broadband delivery. Compared with setting up a local broadband delivery network using WiMAX, say, um, our, um, uh, our forecasts show that we can save up to 75% of cost, and that can be um, put through to lower service costs for consumers. Okay, so in conclusion, then, I think it's interesting to compare white space with the 4G um, spectrum auctions that William alluded to. I mean, who knows how much the 4G auctions will raise in the UK? I mean, they've already raised... $20 billion in the, uh, in the US. So there's no doubt that there's an enormous amount of value in this spectrum. Um, and what we've enabled with our technology in Nullnet is a way to, uh, for customers to access very similar spectrum, considerable chunk of very similar spectrum for free. So that's a very disruptive idea because it means that the cost of setting up a wide area wireless network, and let's face it, a lot of the value in wireless is um, only realized when you have a wide area network. So you can pick your device up and walk around with it. It reduces the cost of um, creating one of those from billions of pounds today all the way down to you know, tens of millions or even less for smaller scale networks. And I think the repercussions of that will be felt through the industry uh, over the next um, 10 or 20 years. It really opens up the market for wide area wireless access.